I had a question about the casting. From the beginning, you know, when did you know you wanted these three? How did you kind of put that ensemble together? And then the process where you were involved in just working with that. Yeah, well. Channing Tatum was the first. I saw a film called Guide to Recognizing Your Saints, and he was amazing and dangerous and animal-like and flawed in a way that he couldn't himself comprehend, which is a very interesting thing to play. Mm -hmm. You know, when you, when you meet somebody and you're able to see something about them immediately that they'll never understand about themselves, it was like one of those characters, which is also like Mark Schultz. And when I met Channing um, and pitched him this whole thing, uh, I saw that he wasn't anything, he's nothing like that character that he played. Uh, that was the first time I'd ever heard of him. It was the first time I ever saw him. And uh, it actually was a little bit of a inspiration to continue because I knew that there was somebody who could play the part. Carell was next. His agent had put his name on a list. Nobody expected John DuPont to murder anybody. <laughs> and it, it, you want an actor uh, who's not going to project that. Steve said to me that he'd only ever played characters with uh, mushy centers, and that uh, DuPont seems to have a mushy center, but he doesn't. You know, he's dangerous. And just the fact that Steve would point that out was, you know, convincing, uh, especially as a comedic actor who I, I think we've come to understand, not just him, just comedic actors in general uh, tend to have an aspect of themselves that remains guarded, mm -hmm. you know, an edgy or darker side that they just don't share. And it wasn't difficult to imagine what that would feel like when Carell made that turn. And Mark Ruffalo? I got a call from his manager saying that, that Mark was aware of the project and he would, he would love to meet. And so we met, and he said, listen, uh, I was a wrestler. I was a state champion. My father was a wrestler. He was a state champion. Wrestling is not just a sport. You know, it is a culture. It's a mentality. It's a fraternity. Uh, it's a discipline. And you can't not have a non-wrestler playing Dave Schultz, who he grew up very, very aware of, you know, the Schultz brothers. He knew all about them. He said, um, you know, I had a brother, and the relationship was very similar. And he said, uh, you know, he wanted to do it for personal reasons. And I told him, you know, I'll think about it. <laughs> Never make a decision on the spot yeah. about anything. Yeah. Uh, That's a good advice. No matter how you know convinced yeah. you are and wrapped up in that moment, just take a beat. Always take a beat. Fifteen minutes after we parted, I called up and said. <laughs> <laughs>